Hi everyone, welcome to the ninth video on Python learning series for network engineers. In this video, I'll explain for loop. About for loop, uh, for loops are very important in automation. I would say it is one of the major component in automation. Even you can define nested loops inside script. That means uh, a for loop inside another for loop. So we'll see some demo before we start writing the script. So I am already into my virtual environment 3.6. I'll go inside Python here. We'll write a basic script of for loop. So I'll call a variable subnet. I'll call this as a string one one dot i'll give then we'll print a list of ip what we defined enter then for n in range we can give the range of ip we need to print n or you can call it as anything i'll call capital n range I'll give 1 to 20 enter then indentation this is the another block print subnet that is a string plus we need to convert even this number into string string capital N enter yeah you can see here it has been read the range what we define so when we give in number as 20 it printed till 19 so in similar way you can change the range and give any number of you can generate any number of IPs using this script so another example for a nested loop is we'll create a variable here or a, we can say it is a list we'll see about more we'll see more about list in upcoming videos this i'm just creating a list r1 I'll create a list of devices switch one switch two enter then we'll create some DC names data center DC equal to dc01.com dc02.com and yeah, now we will combine these two so for that for d i will call individual device in device colon so one indentation we need to give then we are going to combine these two so under that we will give uh, for We'll call DC as uh, E. Then in 
DC. This is a for loop inside another for loop. Enter. Now we need to give two indentations. Yeah. Because this is going to go come under E. Print. D plus because we need to get r1 dot dc1 dot com so we'll be adding a string with dot plus e yeah looks good we'll and then we'll see what will happen yeah so now i got a fqdn for all the devices in individual dcs like r1.dc1.com r2 r1.dc2.com in similar way so now if you want to add another device you can just add it in the list it will automatically generate fqdn for that device and if even if you add a dc here it will automatically generate so these are some of the uh, simple examples for uh, for loop So you can even if you give one to hundred, it will generate hundred IPs. So now I'll go to our Python folder. Okay, this is the script which we created in the previous video. This just SSH to the device and executes the show run command and gets the output in terminal so we'll copy the script create another file for for loop 06 for loop dot py the content here to make the execution of script simple I have hard coded username and password with IP but in production I would suggest you to ask username and password here after invoking the shell we need to go to config mode so we'll copy this terminal length then here we will give the command configure terminal then we will create a for loop here for n in range 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 we will give then tab then we'll be configuring the device with this range so we'll copy this command send we'll copy the complete command here the command is going to be interface loopback one space I'll add here I'll be creating loopback interface because I'm using routers in GNS3 but in real time you can even configure anything with the commands you can even in switches you can create VLAN or you can create access list etc then plus I have added one space here so that loopback space loopback number in the loopback number place I'll give I'll convert this numbers the range of number which it is going to generate into string n yeah I need to 
close the parenthesis here then slash n there is a syntax error here you can see I have given double quotes and single quotes it should be consistent I'll copy this command now I have configured a loopback for example interface loopback 1 then next it will execute interface loopback 2 next we'll assign IP for that for that command is going to be IP address 1.1.1 1 dot one dot one, one dot here it is again going to be this string for loopback 1 I'll be giving 1.1 1 .1, loopback 2 I'll be giving 1.2 that way then we need to give subnet mask here so one space then 255 255 not 255 not 55 it's going to be slash 32 network I'll add a delay here then I'll give a do do command here otherwise you can even do a exit and give show run I just want to show the multiple ways because I'll be in config mode from here if I don't exit I have to give do here we'll change the show run to show IP interface brief but in real time you know you can give the whole command So we'll try to execute the script now. Python zero six. So here, what they are saying is, uh, this type we have given bytes, and this is a string. So we cannot combine bytes to string. We'll remove b here. let's execute again there is a delay of 5 seconds yeah and I have 5 seconds delay here after executing the command and another 5 seconds of delay after giving show command and since I'm using some simulation devices, simulator device in my GNS3, there is a delay for response as well. So that's why I'm giving this much delay. You can see the command which it executed. So it started from 1 and it's given till 9. And in the end, I executed show IP interface brief so I got the output now to remove these commands we'll comment this line here we need to give no we'll execute again we'll reduce the delay Now you can see it has removed all the lines which it added. Now to make this as a variable, like while entering, uh, we'll make this as a user input. So for that, we'll create two variables, a and uh, b. A equal 
integer what is going to be integer so then it is going to be user input we'll give the message enter first low back in range I'll call this as B and uh, last do back so here you have seen when we gave 1 to 10 as a range it was configuring till 9 so we'll give a plus 1 here then here we will change these the variables and b now we will see the configuration I'll remove this comment so that so that it will configure first slow back I'll give 2 last I'll give 11 the error because I haven't removed no from this interface that's why I would suggest you to test any script in a testing environment before you add it into the production you can use any gns3 or eve devices for testing i'll execute again i'll give the same range yeah it has configured so you can see it exactly configured the range what I have given 2 to 11 2 it started with 2 then till 11 it has configured now if we need to remove the remove some interfaces execute again 3 to 11 I'll remove yeah now you can see only I have to back 2% okay I hope this video was helpful for you to understand for loop so from next video we'll move into the library called netmico where it simplifies device ssh communication i hope this video was helpful thanks for watching